Back time now 513. It is hot and it is dry, but the potential for rain and even flooding is looming and can come when you least expect it. So our very own Zora Asbury spoke with the Regional Flood Control District to find out how residents can stay safe. Zora. Well, Kalina, if you've lived in Las Vegas long enough, you may have experienced a sudden downpour that just washed away your summer plans. Well, the summer monsoon season comes every year and it's sure to bring spontaneous rain here to the valley. So we got to see how the Regional Flood Control District is working to stop storm water from flowing into our neighborhoods and around businesses. Um, these facilities are working as a big system, really, to catch water as it comes out of the mountains or water that falls from rainstorms in the city itself, and it's collecting all of that water and conveying it through the city and out to Lake Mead in a safe manner. Currently, there are 104 basins and 677 miles of channels that are intertwined across our region. I'm standing inside of the Vandenberg North Basin here in North Las Vegas, just one of the many basins that leads to several channels across the Las Vegas Valley. But there is more work to be done to help roll that water off of the roadways and into the basins. We're 75% complete on our flood control system, which means we have 25% left to do, which translates to about 38 detention basins and over 200 miles of channels and storm drains left to build. Larger basins can hold up to 100 million gallons of water. Many basins you'll see around town, however, look like this, dry and empty. That's because the last seven out of eight monsoon seasons have been relatively dry. Still, experts with the flood district say nothing is certain when it comes to monsoon season and its torrential downpour. Just about at any time and anywhere, the conditions are ripe for that to happen during these hot summer months. And so we want to remind everyone that you can get caught off guard by these floods. Flash flood season is also arriving here in the valley. July, August, and September may be summer months, but they can also be wet ones. Whether it rains on Mount Charleston or in Summerlin, the entire region could be affected by flooded conditions. And conceivably, what's happening up here in North Las Vegas could impact one of our residents in Henderson as well. So it's making good decisions and working regionally to make smart decisions for all of our residents. So what can you do to stay safe? Experts say to always be weather aware and to take precautions during monsoon and flash flood seasons, especially when on the roads. It's critical to avoid rising water. 50% of all the, the deaths during a flood season are people involved in a vehicle. So it's important for folks to make sound decisions and to be wise. Now the Regional Flood Commission says regionalflood.org is a great resource to find out what areas are flooded around the valley and to remember phrases like turn around, don't drown, and water always wins when encountering those flooded roads. And of course we are accustomed to the flooding here in monsoon season in the valley, but of course there's always that tourist on the strip that gets caught off guard by the torrential downpour. Guys. It is really easy to get cut off guard. I remember that happened to me and you were warning us that day. Uh, I don't remember when it was. It was probably a year or so ago, but <laughs> um, I was leaving somewhere and it was just out of control. I remember calling the newsroom being like, what is going on here? I am stuck and I cannot get out of this parking lot. So it really is dangerous, comes out of nowhere. So you really just have to be careful. Yeah, and it, it doesn't rain here often, but when it does, it can be on the heavy side. We're on the lookout for a few isolated pop-up storms around 1130 and lunchtime.